Alright guys, welcome to the 14th tutorial and in this video we're finally going to start styling the drop up menus and I just want to say that I got a lot of messages because on YouTube my name is the new Boston and everyone thinks I live in Boston and they're messaging me about all the bombings and stuff. I don't really live in Boston so uh, I am safe for everyone who is asking. Um, I don't live in Boston, I live in New York so uh, yeah. So anyone who's worried about me, you know, I'm okay. Anyways, in this tutorial, what we're going to do, like I said, is style these drop-up menus. So the first thing we're going to do is style this programs menu because I'm going to be building something special for the account, profile, and two columns drop-up menu. This programs menu is a very simple, basic one. And actually what it is is a list kind of within a list. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to style this first. Now, actually, let's go ahead and put, um, like, comment, programs, menu, drop up, something like that. Now, remember, like I said before, basically what we have here is this entire footer is an unordered list, and each of these little tabs, account, profile, two columns, programs, each of those buttons is a list item. So actually what we're going to be doing is within this list item, we're going to be building another list. Because remember, this programs button is a list item, and this calculator, group chat, image editor, meme generator, all of those are actually another list. So once I code it, you guys are going to see what's going on. So in the footer menu, which is basically the entire footer, the list item, the first one is this programs button right here what we want to do is we want to add an even deeper unordered list and we'll just give this the, um, the class drop up so basically what we're saying is whenever we're styling this we're styling this drop up menu right here this pop up that appears on top of the programs now the reason that we're not styling this one or this one or this one is because we're going to use a different layout for that but this is what we're going to be working on right now this drop up menu that pops up whenever you hover over the programs tab so the first thing and the only thing we'll put in here is display none why is this because you do not want this to appear by default whenever they first visit the website you only want it to appear whenever they hover over this tab so by default display none now how do we achieve the effect that we want it to display on hover well that's easy actually if we just copy this cheat a little bit and list item hover then we can change the display to block so now what we did is whenever they hover over this list item which is essentially this button then what we want to do is we want to display it on the screen however it doesn't really have a size right now or a position so let's go ahead and fix all that and by the way a lot of people make this mistake whenever they're making either drop down menus just basic drop down menus or drop up footers like this they make the link to hover over but you don't want the user to have to hover over the link to make the menu appear if you want it to act like a button make sure that the entire list item appears on drop up because then this item wouldn't appear now only when you hover over a link so anyways make sure you always hover over list item not over the a tag which would be the URL so now we basically said don't display on default but whenever the user hovers over the button display it so now we gotta give it all the settings so position absolute and this is of course in reference to the outer element that which basically means the list item. Now the margin is going to be 0, 0, 0, negative 15 pixels. Now why is this? Well, if you go ahead and do the math with all the padding and the margin and all the borders and everything, when you move it to the left 15 pixels, it lines it up perfectly with this left hand side. And let me just zoom in here if I can. There we go see if I can zoom in as you can see it's lined up perfectly with this border right here so that's what we want 